everything's bigger in America. We've got the biggest cars, the biggest houses, the biggest companies, the biggest food, and finally, the biggest people. America has now become the fattest nation in the world. Congratulations. Nearly 100 million Americans are today either overweight or obese. That's more than 60% of all U.S. adults. Since 1980, the total number of overweight and obese Americans has doubled, with twice as many overweight children and three times as many overweight adolescents. The fattest state in America? Mississippi, where one in four people are obese. I grew up in West Virginia, currently the third fattest state in America. When I was growing up, my mother cooked dinner every single day. Almost all my memories of her are in the kitchen, and we never ate out, only on those few rare special occasions. Today, families do it all the time, and they're paying for it, not only with their wallets, but with their waistlines. Obesity is now second only to smoking as a major cause of preventable death in America, with more than 400,000 deaths per year associated with related illnesses. In 2002, a few Americans got fed up with being overweight and did what we do best. They sued the bastards. Taking aim at the fast food companies and blaming them for their obesity and illnesses, a lawsuit was filed in New York on behalf of two teenage girls, one who was 14 years old, 4 foot 10, and 170 pounds. The other, 19 years old, 5 foot 6, and 270 pounds. The unthinkable had suddenly become reality. People were suing the Golden Arches for selling them food that most of us know isn't good for you to begin with. Yet each day, one in four Americans visits a fast food restaurant. And this hunger for fast food isn't just in America. It's happening on a global basis. McDonald's alone operates more than 30,000 joints in over 100 countries on six continents and feeds more than 46 million people worldwide every day. That's more than the entire population of Spain. In the United States alone, McDonald's accounts for 43% of the total fast food market. They're everywhere. Walmarts, airports, rest stops, gas stations, train stations, shopping malls, department stores, amusement parks, even hospitals. That's right, hospitals. At least you're close when the coronary kicks in. Lawyers for McDonald's call the suits frivolous, stating that the dangers of its food are universally known and that these kids can't show that their weight problems and health woes were caused solely by their McDiets. The judge states, however, that if lawyers for the teens can show that McDonald's intends for people to eat its food for every meal of every day and that doing so would be unreasonably dangerous, they may be able to state a claim. 